What's up everybody, how's it going? It's Berk, aka Dan's Great here, and welcome to a playthrough of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This is one of the classics from FromSoft, and I have been looking forward to trying this one for quite some time. Up until this point, I've played Bloodborne, and I've played Elden Ring, and I had an amazing time with both of them, with Elden Ring especially basically becoming one of my favorite games of all time. But I've always heard great things about Sekiro that not only does it have obviously a lot of the usual FromSoft stuff that we love, but it's also probably the most different from the standard like Dark Souls, Bloodborne type of setup. And for some, it's their favorite FromSoft entry of all time. And so I'm genuinely looking forward to this. This is again, one of those masterpieces from FromSoft, game of the year type of material. And it might just be potentially my favorite one of the bunch as well. So if you've never seen me play a FromSoft game before, I do it the same way every time. I basically go in with absolutely zero knowledge, no practice, uh, no researching anything, no talking to anyone about tips and tricks or anything like that. I go in completely blindly. In terms of what to expect, it's going to be much like Bloodborne, I think, because in terms of runtime, they're relatively similar from what I've seen. And I did poll people on the channel about it, and they tell me that it's roughly similar. Expect a lot of deaths, expect a lot of frustration, expect me trying to figure out how, how this game works, how I can kind of adapt and learn and get better at the game to try and survive and to proceed. And hopefully, if you are the type of viewer that enjoys seeing people like me come across these games, get absolutely battered, get outclassed, and then slowly figure it out and grind their way through and emerge victorious basically by completing the game and seeing the credits roll, then I think you're going to have a very good time. But if you're expecting someone that knows what they're doing and to guide you through the game and to give you that sort of more skillful, masterful play and show you how it's done, then this is definitely not the playthrough for you. And that's totally understandable if that's what you're after. And you don't want to see some guy get frustrated about losing to a boss 50 times. So that's generally what to expect. I'm really looking forward to this. I hear it has a bit more of a conventional storytelling method, which for me, I think just in terms of my own taste and what I like, that suits me a little better. I do, of course, love the sort of the lore side and the theory crafting side of games like Bloodborne and Elden Ring. But for me, I think what I've always wished to have was like that sort of formula, but with slightly more conventional storytelling. And Sekiro seems to be the kind of game that does that a little bit more so than the other FromSoft entries. So let's get into this and find out if it truly is one of, if not the best, of the recent kind of streak of hits that FromSoft has been having. I'm very excited, and I hope you'll enjoy the playthrough. Remember, please drop a like, especially on this first episode, help this get going, especially for things outside of Final Fantasy. It really does help to put the channel a little bit more on the map and give people some new stuff to watch.
野良犬が心すらなくしたかああ共に来るか飢えた狼そして戦場で拾われた狼は修行の末熟達の忍びとなった忍びの掟は忘れまいだ親の次に大事なものお前の心に刻むがよいあれが今日からお前のあるか命を賭して守るたとえ奪われるとも必ず取り戻すのだよいなら狼よ There we go. Intro cutscene. They do the cutscenes really well too. That's why I kind of always wish that there was a little bit more of it. Ishin no Kunitori Kara, Niju Yonen. Ashina no Kuniwa, Shayoni Ari. Okami no Shinobiwa, Subeteo Ushina Teita. Sodate no Gifumo, Mamorubeki, Arujimo. Oh, it became one of these. Interesting. Okay, there we go. Already we are in control. So, before we do anything else, let me share a few like little bits of information that might be uh, relevant for some people. I am playing on PC. This is basically the first time I've done a playthrough of a FromSoft game on PC. I always played on PlayStation up until now. But I was curious. I wanted to, to basically play it in 1440p, uh, 60fps, and in general, I tend to prefer recording from PC. Uh, I haven't run any major tests, I literally made it to this screen. I skipped the cutscenes and I ran around a bit on this screen just to see how the frame rate was holding up and what was happening. And in general, everything seemed fine early on, so I decided to roll with it and try to record this first session. Um, you're going to see the button prompt here. It's uh, the PlayStation one. Normally, uh, this is in like the Xbox controller kind of configuration, but I installed a little mod that turns it to PC controls. And so I'm using a PS4 controller with Bluetooth on the Steam version. So hopefully there's not too much like input input lag slash delay type stuff. I, I assume this is a very timing heavy game. And not only do I have a HDMI running from my PC to my TV, I've also got a Bluetooth controller attached and stuff like that to the PC. So hopefully everything will hold up and uh, I'll at least have something of a chance. Already this, the odds are stacked against me <laughs> as a result of this being a FromSoft game and known to be one of the harder, if not hardest FromSoft game. And so, yeah, um, we'll see what we can do. I'll try my best. And I'm just generally excited. This is a type of sort of atmosphere and aesthetic that I'm really into. The whole, like, you know, Japanese uh, feudal era, uh, shinobi, ronin, that kind of stuff. It's all, it's all very cool to me. And so I'm very much looking forward to this game. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So, ornamental letter. A letter thrown into a well. Kuro's wolf, your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, 
you can reach it. Stay silent. Stay vigilant. There we go. Okay, I thought this was some kind of like, you know, bonfire, sight of grace kind of thing. Obviously not. That's a good start. You can see that health bar not looking great. So we cannot afford, definitely cannot afford to be seen by anything. And yes, the game, I think the, the default language is Japanese. You can change it to English, I, I assume. But for me, I, I like to... Because I, I do watch like a lot of anime and Japanese stuff. Um, I do like to to watch uh, with the original kind of voice acting if I can. And then use subtitles. Final Fantasy is a weird exception. Um, that's how I grew up. I basically started playing Final Fantasy before I ever watched any anime or Japanese stuff. And so the... And because I had the, the, e, the UK version, obviously, anyway... I didn't even have a Japanese version, so I just got very used to it. And so by the time you could change it, um, I was just way too... It's too ingrained in my brain to play Final Fantasy in English. And so, yeah. But for this game, um, I'm going to keep the, the Japanese voice acting. Yeah, already looks very cool. Um, okay. Do I have to... Yeah, it's just a toggle. But when you hold square down, you end up getting like that. He's focusing or something, I don't know. Okay. Fine. Stealth. So, this is already something interesting. Part of the reason why I, I really enjoyed the first part of Elden Ring was because they had a stealthier element to it where you could sort of try and crouch through things, hide behind stuff, there was taller grass. It wasn't like a full-on stealth thing, but it definitely was an element. And because I, I do have a lot of uh, MGS play in my background and stuff, I do generally enjoy the stealth stuff. Even if I'm not particularly great at it, it's just a gameplay element that I think is cool. So, advance without being seen by crouching in bushes or moving under floors. You do not have a sword at the moment. Use stealth to avoid enemies and head to the Moonview Tower. If you're about to be seen, warning markers appear above enemies' heads. <laughs> I would say famous last words, but these guys would absolutely kill me, so no. <laughs> Wolf can slip into tight spaces just beneath floors when crouched. Okay. I mean, even this is tight. I could probably be seen here. I'm sure the, the stealth is very, like, um, harsh in this game. Like the, the, the margin of error is small. It's not like, you know, MGS normal type difficulties where you can run rings around them and still not get seen most of the time. Give me a good one. こよいも月に照らされておる。ミコ様はまた月明かりでしょう、お読みかの。そうじゃな。まだほんの子供というに囚われとは気の毒なことじゃ。ああ。銀一郎様も何かお考えがあるのだろうが。Yeah, I'm going to try to do that as much as I can. It's a nice little extra element here. This already has a very different feel to the likes of Bloodborne, of course. So, yeah, so you will hear me comparing to Bloodborne and Elden Ring quite often. Uh, Elden Ring more so, I think, because obviously I played it much more recently. Bloodborne's already been like six, seven years since I played. <laughs> I have to assume when you're eavesdropping, it's a safe spot to do it. Like, you won't get caught. Because you can't move. And yeah, we will see how long the, the first death takes. It's already a bit more forgiving than, uh, than Elden Ring so far. Alright, let's 
not fail the first jump. Go. Yeah, he definitely feels very agile and mobile, which is good. But I'm sure the enemies are going to be extra agile and mobile to compensate. Exactly sure which way they want me to go. Not that way, that's for sure. Yeah, okay, it's this way. We can basically almost double jump here if we need to. Easy. What an easy game. Sekiro difficult. <laughs> よく来てくれた。久しいな、狼よ。狼。お迎えに参上いたしました。我がアルジ。うむ。表を上げよう。サビマル。そなたの刀だ。我が忍びよ。主従の役場に従い。命を賭し。我に仕えよ。ギョイ。I will pledge my life probably 500 times. <laughs> Kusabi Maru, a katana given by Kuro, the divine heir, an heirloom of the Hirata family, a cadet branch descended from Ashina. Once thought lost, it has found its way back into the hands of the wolf. The name Kusabi Maru beseeches. A shinobi's role is to kill, but even a shinobi must not forget mercy. A mantra of the blade itself may manifest. There we go. オオカミよ。傷を負っておるようだな。そうだ。そなたにこれを託そう。薬水の氷炭だ。これで傷を癒してくれ。ナイス。ヒーリングゴード。アゴードフィルドウィズバイタリティリストリングメディシンレスティング
already though, like the whole setup and premise, I'm, I'm finding pretty interesting. So I'm looking forward to this stuff. Let me just double check my recording's working. I haven't recorded on PC for quite some time. It seems to be. Okay. Yeah, it's literally been 103 hours of rebirth over the last three weeks or so. But uh, it's delayed Sekiro a little bit. I was itching to get to it. But these games are difficult enough as it is. And I'm, I've never been that good at playing two games like that simultaneously. So doing a first run of Sekiro and a first run of Rebirth. Where I've got the muscle memory for Rebirth. And I'm trying to, to play Sekiro. Like it just it just doesn't work for me. Um, last time around with Elden Ring I had to stop playing um, Horizon Forbidden West. Because just it was just too much kind of crossover. I was mixing up the buttons and, and all that kind of stuff. So... Uh, I wanted to finish Rebirth first, and now the runway has been cleared for me to, um, oh, for me to play this one. Pellet, medicinal pellets that slowly restore vitality, a secret treatment passed down for generations in these lands. Records say it has been used in battle since time long gone, and lent to the famed resilience of Ashina warriors. A pill case full of these pellets would also serve as a battle charm. Okay. It's just so quick. I might as well... I assume this is a quick item as well. Why not? So, at this stage... I don't know if we're going to run into something that can restore our health fully so we can kind of keep the item. Beneath the moat bridge. Okay. Beneath the moat bridge. I got this. Oh boy. Right. Posture and death blows. I have to really try to learn these kind of fundamentals. A shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. When an enemy's posture breaks, he is vulnerable to a shinobi death blow. R1 attack, R1 after breaking posture equals a death blow. Okay, so before we do that, uh, we have no chance to heal yet, so... A healing gourd gives me that much, so... Heaven forbid it fills up your entire health bar, I mean... Come on, never gonna happen. Obviously these, these plebs lose their posture very quickly. But it hasn't given us like the whole, you know, 30 seconds after controlling your character you fight some silly boss that kills you instantly or something like that. So in that sense it's a little bit more, it's a building towards um, giving you something more difficult. No items dropped it seems. I assume they'd be very obvious if they did get dropped. Alright, come on. <laughs> Already. Sometimes relentless attack is not enough to break an enemy's posture. Deflecting at attacks is another way to damage their posture. A master shinobi uses a combination of deflect and attacks to achieve swift victory. The moment an attack lands... You see, that's interesting to me because that almost sounds like it's after you get hit, but obviously it's not, so we'll see. Nope. And you only get basically two chances. Okay. I got it a second time. Obviously I went too quick the first time. I'm sure most of us probably do that. Now, what I do know about this game, obviously, I've you know I've had some brief conversations about it. I've um, I've seen conversations about it and that kind of thing. Uh, to say that I've never ever heard anything about this game would be a lie. But I've heard it's the kind of game where it's like, for me at least, I play these games in a way where I just figure out a way that works for me and I get through by any means necessary. For this game, I hear that it's like you have to play the game the way it wants you to play it. You have to kind of almost submit to it and just get good at the way the game is played. 
And if you fail to do that, then you basically just get stuck and you cannot get through. And so, I think for that, we're just going to have to see here. Now, let's see how long this lasts as well. I've got two guys to fight here, so... Yeah. By locking on to your target and keeping your enemy in front of you, you'll find it much easier to attack, deflect, and perform other combat actions. Yeah, okay. Right, let's go for it. Yeah, these ones, you can tell, they're very, like, plebish. And I can basically interrupt their actions. So at least with those guys, I know I can do that. But if anyone looks a little more dangerous than these guys, then I have to be ready to deflect. Just wondering about... Obviously, they're going to show us. I'm sure what... Oh, flip. Why did I do this? Why did I go looking for trouble? What is wrong with me? Yeah, I played with fire a bit there. Yeah, so any... Like, this guy obviously looks a little bit... Uh, more pro than these guys so for them you've got to be more careful for now i'm still instinctively like dodging but i don't know i feel like there's going to be bosses where your dodging's just not going to work and it has to really be all about the deflection and if you're not deflecting then you cannot win so i try my best to get good at deflecting but yeah i was just looking around to see if i could find any items but no Doesn't seem to be any entry to this place. Yeah, there's no way to like come up here. Yeah, okay. Gonna move along. So hey, I mean, I've beaten like five or six enemies without dying so far. I, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I got a bit lucky there. I'm surprised I didn't get seen. I just want to see what how much scope we have to stealth anybody here. Yeah, okay. Come on then, lads. Yeah, that's not good. Nope. There you go. Five or six. I think we did okay. I think we did okay. Now, where do we begin from? From here. Yeah, you see, this is where it gets harsh. Obviously, this is deserved. It's not, it's not something unexpected. You get some invincibility there. But this time I'm going to move things forward more quickly if I can. So I didn't take damage there, but that was too slow. So I think... That's probably like a slightly more forgiving element of it. You can miss the timing, but you still get a block in. Is he in like a... Is he dead or is he sort of like begging for mercy kind of thing? 
I think he's dead. Okay. But yeah, you don't... Well, your healing gourd refills upon death, which is nice. But obviously, these ones do not. So, got to watch out. I think since they've given you the blade, they don't want you to immediately regress back to stealth. Flip. Okay, a mini test of what we've learned so far. He's... Okay. Counter Slash. A Counter Slash can be performed immediately after deflecting an attack. This allows you to deal posture damage without giving the enemy time to recover. Okay. Come, big boy. Okay, you need to do two of those, though. It's not good enough. Death blow against strong enemies. Hold on. The music's got a bit loud here. I need to just turn it down a little. Can't hear myself speak. Some powerful opponents require multiple death blows to be killed. The number of death blows required. Yep, yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's try again. Like he's taking too long, so I'm trying to punish him after his hits as well. And not just deflect. And my own... So... Yeah, you see how it encourages, like, a aggressive playstyle? Because, obviously, now his posture's all the way back up again. That's my first hit. Too early. I need to go later on those. I got the first set much more easily. There's definitely a nice little window, at least with these guys, uh, once you break their posture. There you go. Fair enough. So they're definitely allowing you to have some momentum here. First kind of very, very small mini boss. And they didn't make it too bad. But it definitely seems like you've got to keep the pressure up here. If you play too many games where you're just kind of constantly dodging then you kind of get locked into a bit of a stalemate because you're not making any progress either. So, yeah, we'll see. Take it as it comes. Fistful of ash. Ash gripped into a hardened clump. Throw it at an enemy to temporarily distract them. In Ashina, the snow falls thick, and thus the hearth runs thick with ash. Okay. Let's add another one of these. thinking. Just wondering which way around is best. What or who is that on the bridge? Hmm. Okay, this could get me in trouble. Can I get a stealth kill here? Okay. 
don't know if I'm going the right way or I'm bypassing something here, but whatever. Not sure how much fall damage we can take. He seems like an agile enough guy. It's probably not that much. Yep. Okay. It's good. So this was the first little training area. I would say this went pretty well. I don't want to go down there in case I can't get back up. There's not anything I can see that's visible. Let's just do it. It's a man of few words. まずは足名の国を離れるか。あるいはどこかに身を隠すか。そなたはどう思う?行為のままに。行為か。そなたは変わらぬな。ほ。いや、懐かしいと思うてな。さあ、参ろう。I was worried right from the start where it's like, is the, literally the first thing we have to do in the game escort this kid between guards and that kind of thing and he stop him from getting killed and stuff. That stuff always just gives me big anxiety when playing these games. And it's like, in, from soft plus that, it's like, no, I do not want to do that. But we'll see. I'm hoping he never has to get involved in anything. Oh, wow. I always love the, the pampas grass. I think it's called pampas grass. I forgot exactly what it's called, but... Yeah. This is nice. I see what's going to happen here. Okay. Now, I have definitely seen thumbnails with uh, Sword Saint Ishin. And the name Ishin has already appeared, and there's this person over here. I think we're going to have a fight soon in which we're going to get wrecked. しかしいな、ミコよ。おじうえの母前以来か。ゲンイチロウ殿。オッケー。ノーイシュンバーゲンチュロウ。私は。すまぬ。お任せよ。邪魔立てするか、巫女の忍びを。Not sure what that symbol was. Also, so they gave you like an easy little tutorial bit, but they threw you straight into a big boss here. That didn't do what I thought it would do. 
And yeah. <laughs> it's one of those bosses. Shinobi to the Kono Tedoka Miko and Mora take so. We'll be back. Mark my words. Thankfully, it was one of those bosses. And not one I had to win. Prosthetic, the artificial arm of a shinobi passed down by the sculptor. A replica of a human arm fitted with a variety of me mechanisms apparently designed with modification in mind. While it bears a number of cuts and is stained thick with blood and oil, it has been impeccably maintained. Damn, that's really cool. Omae-san, <laughs> Ask how you got here, ask about your new left arm. Well, I'd like to ask both. Let's hope we can. ひろったのよ。アシナの城で捕らわれとなっているだがすぐにもその地を利用されちまうだろうお前さんを見ればその価値は十分にあろうというものじゃ。Okay. See, the fact that they're already giving you this much like conversation and setting up a story like this, it's it's pretty cool. この左腕。俺に何をした。そいつは忍び義手。石碗の狼には わしのところに持ってくるがいい。ニングだと。そうか。この殻くり。さしがいいな。ニングを持ってきたら忍び義手に仕込んでやる。そうすりゃ、その義手のありがたみがわかるじゃろうさ。うん。喋りすぎたな
Ikina. Final question. Miko sama no chigari o sareru to wa douyu koto da? Washi mo kuashi koto nado shiran. Tada, ryuin. So yobareru tokubetsu na chiga aru to iu. Nushi no aruji wa sore o motte oru. Sore yu e Miko sama wa tsuke nerawareru. お前さんの体が妙なことになっておるのもそのせいかもしれぬなお前さんもそうじゃがこの荒れ寺にはおかしな客がまあまあ訪れる寺を出て右手の広場にもそうした者が一人おる妙なことになっておる者同士気が合うかもしれんな。うん、OK。Good stuff so far. I'm enjoying like, the, the, the setup, everything that's been happening until this point. その優しい顔の仏様は、わしの掘ったもんじゃあねえ。まことの武士が掘られたものだ。人が、己のうちにあるものと向き合う。そう言ったときに。助けとなるだろう。己のうちにあるものと。怒り、悲しみ、あるいは古い過去の記憶、そういった類のものじゃ。Interesting. But they haven't given us an actual thing for it yet. But it's funny, I did try to throw the ashes in the guy's face, hoping it might give me like a second. But obviously the homeward idol now makes uh, more sense. But yeah, just look at this aesthetic, it's beautiful, man. I just, I love this stuff. It's still a little bit sad I never played Ghost of Tsushima for the channel, I always say that. It's such a brilliant game. Like, visually, it's still the most beautiful game I've ever played. Um, just for that alone, I would have loved to have shared it, even though I did make the, the cinema grass video, which I'm a, it's one of my personal favorite videos that I've made on the channel. But yeah, this for me is just, uh, I really love these types of environments in this style. I'm going to like this game. Remnants. Shinobi can leave behind shadows of their past actions, known as remnants. Remnants are left to discipline one's peers, some masters of the way ahead. Some are masters of the way ahead, others provoke sporting rivalries. Okay, I think this is like a network connection. Yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. Fine. Um, I think the mod that I installed installed something alongside it that made me go offline. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Right, we've got one of these guys. Commune with Sculptor's Idol. Okay, I see. Sculptor's idols serve as a checkpoint and can be found throughout Ashina. Resting at a Sculptor's idol will completely replenish vitality and restore one use of resurrection. Additionally, quick items and spirit emblem storage will be added to your current inventory. With some exceptions, resting will also revive defeated enemies. Okay. Interesting. Attack power 1. Unseen aid 30%. Vitality 10, Rare Bees Memories, I don't know what any of that means. Let's rest. Okay. Right, so they're talking about meeting someone that we might get along with. I'm already interested in that. The, these games tend to be relatively lonely experiences. Like, you bump into a lot of NPCs, but you don't really have many people on the road with you. And so we have this lady here. Makotoni. 息を吹き返したのですね。流院の力、うん、この目でしかと見ることになるとは。何者だ。エマと言います。猿お方に使える薬師です。猿お方と。すみませんが、主の命にて明かせません。ただ、あなたを助けよと、そう仰せつかっています。信用しろとは言いませんですが私は主の命を果たさねばならぬのですあなたが持っている
薬水の氷炭それはもともと私が作り上げたものです。クスシとして、助けとなりましょう。Okay, nice. We already have basically a, a little team around us to, to help. This is nice. この氷炭お主が作ったというのかはい。もとは苦労様のために。あなたが譲り受けていたのですね気づいているかもしれませんがこのひょうたんの薬水はおのずと湧き出します尽きたとて少し休めばまた満ちるでしょうくすしとしての助けとはひょうたんの種をお持ちください種だとはい薬水はひょうたんの種より湧き出します新たな種を加えれば薬水の傘が増すでしょう手に入れたら持ってきてくださいわかった Very well. Obviously I don't have any. 一つ頼みがありますなんだ少し顔を見せてください何うん<笑>白いあざこれは生まれつきですかいやならば留飲を受けた者に現れるということかあるいは兆しかうんもうよいかああ十分です無礼をしましたすみませんではまた All right, there we go. So already we have, we've had a lot of dialogue and cutscenes and conversation. Considering how long I've played, it's probably the least amount of actual combat gameplay that I've had for one of these、uh, FromSoft games. Not a bad thing for me, I'm, I'm very much used to that type of game, but interesting indeed. So, back up to three pellets, which is nice. Do we go right or do we go here? I'm sure he was talking about Emma. When he said you two might get along. But in case he's not, I'm going to head right. I think he said right from the gate. Already we have an enemy here. Okay. Well, we don't. No, this is the person who said. Yeah, so this is the person we might get along with. t h e m is a big boy as well. Hmm? I'm not a big boy. So, I'm not a big boy. Hmm. I'm not a big boy. だが腕ある忍びとお見受けした忍びの技ならばあるいは<笑>そこもとよぜひそれがしと立ち会ってもらおう、huh? <笑>やはり死なぬはな。Yeah, okay. Something funky going on here. そこもとの立ち筋、見事なものであった。<笑>それが死を、かように従前に殺したもの、そうはおらぬ。お主は、なんだ死なずあるいは虫つきと呼ぶ者も,もおるな死ねぬのでただここにおるのだそこもとはこのようなあれ寺で何よ<笑>ずいぶんと眉間にしわが寄っておるそこもとよそれがしを使い刀の修練をせぬかお主の使命を果たすために死ねぬ体ゆえ幾度でも切られてやれるぞどうじゃ Damn, that's、really、cool, actually. 承知したよしではやろう刀を振らば気も紛れるというもの Nice so the fact they give you a guy here specifically for training That's also very interesting to me. 
Now, is it literally... Yeah. So, can you end the training whenever you want? This is one game where I just feel like I need to learn it properly. So, I'm trying to kind of. The game's good. It's so rare that they throw you a bone and they give you like a. A training guy, so I'm just trying to make use of it. Deflect is is, is the one. We have to really get good at. Deflecting an enemy's attack also damages their posture and a master shinobi. Yeah, okay. It's just the moment an attack lands that I find curious. It's just like Um, I'm almost like I'm getting hit. It feels like I'm getting hit. It's making more sense now. Mada, mada. Mada, mada. Yeah, okay, I'm getting a feel for that now. Very well. Yeah, obviously it makes it look easy in this environment, but... <laughs> Step dodge allows one to avoid attacks. Dodging won't compromise enemy posture, but may help one avoid damage. Evade enemy attacks and then perform three death blows. Dodge counter attack, okay. No, not that time. Damn, he's got reach. I thought I could get away from it with that. Right, okay, I see. They've designed it so that you can't roll away from it. You have to actually dodge it. Oh, I thought I dodged that one. But this one's harder. Yeah, basically, it is a bit difficult to land it afterwards. It's kind of too far away. Whoops, I kind of rolled into him there. Yeah, so the dodging's definitely the clunkiest one so far, weirdly. I thought it would be the deflection. But... Yeah, this is the problem most of the time. I'm too far away. And then when I try to get in close, I get slapped like that. So. And the hitbox for that is also a bit like, I feel like I, I went diagonally beyond that, but you didn't let me have it. Good enough. Obviously, dodging is the one that's a little bit more generally intuitive, even if it's not easy to pull off mm -hmm. properly. そこもととの修練だが、そろそろより誠の戦いに即したものも試してはどうか。それがしも殺す気でかかろう。そこもとの修練としてもその方がこのましかろう。どうしたなぜそこまで半分は退屈しのぎもう半分はそうじゃなそこもとの眉間の皺を取ってやりたいのよさあ良いからやるぞ He just wants to make us happy Okay, so uh, I'm done here, I get the point 
そこもとの技の試しいくらでも受けようぞ。Yeah, I think that's when we'll come back to this guy to practice new things. And what is this? Offering box. Items that become unavailable elsewhere end up in the offering box. When the box is illuminated, it means an item has found its way inside. Okay, and offering money, I see. Very well. Okay, let's go. We've got to meet some helpful people. We literally have three NPCs already that are trying to help us here.、Uh, the game's been more than forgiving. Let's get out there and see how we do. The Shinobi's prosthetic grappling hook allows access to normally unreachable places and a chance to take the high ground. Nearby grapple points are designated with a circular symbol. When the symbol turns green, the grapple hook is within reach. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I've definitely seen the grapple hook type traversal. It looks very, very cool. Looking forward to that. Yeah, that sound. <laughs> Just re reminding you of Scylla from Soft Experience. Checkpoint already. Nice. Right, you can now instantly travel between sculptor's idols that have already been communed with.、Um, okay. Cool. Keep going. Ungo's sugar. Sugar candy made in Senpo Temple, sustaining Ungo's blessing, temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Bite the candy and take the Ungo stance to impart its inhuman benediction. By doing so, you endure the excess karma of man from the spirits within. Senpo monks spread this candy across Ashina in honor of her military heroes. Okay. I think what I gotta know at this stage is what's the deal with stealth kills? Because obviously, I think when there's a chance to get some stealth kills, I wanna take it, but. Alright, let's see what happens here. He's been fixated on that side for quite some time. Ah, come on, man. Oh, the combo is nasty.、Uh, enemies drop loot such as items and money. Multiple enemies can be looted at once and from some distance away. Okay. Took a nasty combo there. But for now, I generally just want to investigate when I get to these types of areas what are my options?、Like、how stealthy can I truly be? Is there like a button prompt that will appear, like those third person action games where you can just sort of. Get cheap kills in like this. I don't want to have to kind of fight every single person if I don't have to. I mean, one of the first things the game showed you was stealth, so we'll see. Okay, let's try again. Nice and slow. About right, ceramic shard, piece of pottery that breaks with a satisfying crack when thrown. Distract. Okay. Oh, 
shit, that was a mistake. I thought I could... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd rather not land right there. So we can do this type of climbing as well. Again, for, for me, this kind of stuff is very different to what I'm used to. In a good way. Oh, damn. Dogs. Right, let's get to this checkpoint first. Easy game. I mean, it's called Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, and I've died twice at this point. So the goal is basically complete the game without dying again. And we call the series Dan's Great Dies Twice. Easy. Hopefully they're one-hit kills. So this is a looting thing here. Now I did see an item that I want to try and get. In general, they don't seem to hear your footsteps too easily, which is nice. Let's just test the waters here to see how close can we get to these guys. an easy kill in here. Wow, okay. Yeah, so they do offer a little leeway here. I do have long grass here too. I want that item. Can I be quick like this? None the wiser. Nice. I'm happy with that. Wait, what? Oh, I've already got, yeah, sent to inventory. That's nice. Right, so far, so good. It's, it's given me a chance to actually get into the game, you know? Make some progress, get some kills in, start building a little bit of confidence before obviously it probably takes it away pretty <laughs> viciously. But for now, we're good. So, whoop. easy, easy. So they could definitely see those rooftops. Okay, that's not too bad. So 
So I guess in that, in that sense, it kind of like leaves you to play the way you want to. If you want to basically rampage your way through here, then well, either you're good enough to do that, or that's just how you play. Then great. But now I'm not exactly sure where the end goal is for this area. And wherever I've ended up is too far from anything else. さて、勝てるものかのう。どうにも悪い予感がするのじゃ。何を弱気なことを。両親とはいえ、一心様はご健在。現一郎様の弓も見事なものじゃ。加えて、鬼行部様もおるではないか。おお。鬼は行部正
そなたは昔から腹を下しやすかったな<笑>まあよいせがれよこの鈴をそなたに託そう若さまのことを暗示作った守り鈴じゃこの守り鈴を仏様にお供えしておくれ。Yeah, I mean, okay. <laughs> I, my idea was that if I say I'm not your son, she might ring the bell loudly and then everyone's going to come and attack me, so I said nothing. And I was going to go back to the sun and be like, you know, see if there's anything new that's come up. So <laughs> it's a bit of a weird situation. But a bell charm received from an old woman who asked that it be offered to Buddha. Bell charms protect their holders through Buddha's divine protection. If one finds themselves the owner of another, another's bell charm, Offering it to Buddha on their behalf is common courtesy. The sculptor, the dilapidated temple, can advise on how it should be offered. Okay. I guess. Maybe I should just use this. I'm sure. Let's see if the music dies down. Hoover that up. Oh. I mean, stop the, the music, so I'll take that. I was going to use the Homeward Idol thing, but... There we go. Nice. Light coin purse. Is not lost upon death. Very nice. Okay. I think that was a pretty lucrative little bit there. And well, I stayed alive. <laughs> So I guess I made the right choice there. Maybe I can get this guy. Yikes. That could have gone very wrong. Almost did, still. That thing's got some range, boy. Yeah, um... I guess since this one is... Like, you can replenish it. it seems a better one. Okay. Is this thing still on to me? I don't think so. Trying to push forward to the next idle thing. Maybe not wise. Oh, frick. Sprint time. But then what happens from there? Oh, I see. Okay, I got you. Hold on. Oh, 
Holy oh, shit. Uh, to stay down after being knocked to the ground surely means death. Safety roll can be used to quickly recover from being knocked down. Okay. Oh, thank God for that. I think I made it out. I generally rather not do that, but that's probably the best idea. Hmm. What is this? Continuing to ride my luck a little bit here. あ、忍びの旦那だ。いや、あの世以来ですね。あの世とは何だ。あ、どんな覚えてねえんですかへえ。なるほど。覚えてねえと。うん。なあ、旦那。私は あんたに会ったことがある。その頃は俗をやってやした。それから足を洗って物売りを始めたんでさ。が、銭がない。銭がないから品もない。そこで旦那、足にチートばかし銭を用立てていただけませんか。それを元手に旦那にもきっと役立
Alright, cool. There you go. I mean, it's such early days that, like, why would you not give him this money at this stage? I mean, a huge deal, right? Cool. Right, so far so good, and I hope that investigating whatever this is doesn't get me killed. So, I need to get up here. Double jump, right? Okay, good. Nice. Been going pretty well so far. Now, I've been thinking, like, during the, that dialogue, there's there's a lot more dialogue than I thought. Um, it seems like if you do go for a very, like, um, kind of stealthy, don't engage many enemies, creep your way through, I think you get through, but then probably the downside of that is that you struggle more against bosses. So I think the game has probably a little bit of a self-leveling system here where um, it depends how you want to play it, really. And so, yeah, I'm going to generally still be making use of stealth, I think, uh, where possible. And as you've seen, even when you're being stealthy, you get seen. And so it's still a problem anyway. But, hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I'm I'm liking these like little things so far, they're quite unique for me compared to the other experiences I've had. So what I will do now is there is no way to fast travel while you're just like out in the world. You have to go to, you have to do it from the thing itself, the sculpture itself. Okay, let's travel. Straight back there. ちりんちりんと鈴が鳴いてるな。この古い鈴の<笑> なんだと。鈴を備えてみるといい。そこにある優しい顔の仏様は Okay, let's offer our first bell. Let's see what happens here. Meo Tsuburi, Suzuno Koyo Kite Artai. to get more story out of it. Sweet. Oh, they take you to parts of the story. Like, his story, I guess? That's really interesting. Wow. Okay. So I can return to this if I die. Memory zero of one. I am in the Hirata state. Ah. 
I'm not sure if I have to hang down first or I can increase my range over time or I jump and then I do it. I think it's worth checking for another death here. I think you can. It went green briefly. I was definitely like pressing it repeatedly. He didn't die? That's weird. Wow, he survived that jump and just came back there. I mean, jokes aside, the game is genuinely quite lenient at this early stage. I think maybe it's really like the boss battles where um, the game really ramps things up. So like traversal and getting through towns, especially in the early game, it's not horrible. I mean, still, I've, I've played this long and I've only died twice. Much like the shadows. Yeah, there you go. So what I'm wondering is how optional these are. Like, is it a way to basically restore your memory? It's like optional kind of levels slash, slash stages to restore uh, memories. That sounds cool. Definitely happy to do these when I can. Can't talk about how much you, you're more kind of generally interested in the, the story side of games. And then when FromSoft gives you something with a little bit more story, <laughs> you can't just ignore it. Come on, dude, turn the other way. Wow. Ah, I see. Yeah, you get some high frames for that too. Yeah, we're not having that. I think the whole deflecting is obviously going to get much more difficult when you have multiple enemies coming at you. Heals the burn status abnormality and for a time decreases burn buildup. So, which ones am I not really using right now? Yeah, these guys are going to be shooting some fire arrows, arrows or some shit at me. He's got the hounds too. Can we hang over this? I don't think we can. Alright, let's kill this guy if we can. Draw him out here. Mm. I'm unsure what the symbol is over my head still. So 
But this is the encounter I'm worried about against the three dogs. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Yeah, thankfully they're one hit kills, so it's not so bad. Still. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. I was trying to do something a bit more interesting there. Gonna say... I haven't got to a hard enough part where I'm feeling really tense yet. Like, it hasn't given me that feeling. I'm kind of, I'm trying to concentrate, obviously, as much as I can. But I'm not feeling, like, fear or tension yet. A Mibu balloon filled with fountainhead water imbued with a blessing of fortune. If one pops this vibrant green Mibu balloon and prays, those its water splashes upon will have a higher chance of obtaining items. Mubu means aquatic life or life born of the water. The Ashina consider the fountainhead water to be the water itself to be worthy of worship. That's interesting. I'm just going to try it. Why not? I'm not sure how long that effect lasts for. Is it until you die or it's a finite period? Let's see. Also, we can swim, right? Yeah. Okay, no money. Less problems, hopefully, in this game. here. Maybe after I rest, it's gone. I don't think we've seen a situation where they found, like, a dead buddy see what they do afterwards. Okay. Yeah, I think the verticality in this game, like the extra options that it gives you in traversal and combat is, is definitely really nice. Just for that item, there's no grapple points here.
it's just a shame there's no way to... Maybe like there's shinobi tools that allow you to do it later. But nothing for now. Hmm, these guys can come and join the mix. Ooh, okay, there's three of them there. Right, this is a dangerous little bit. I'm right next to a thingy anyway, so I don't need to be too afraid here. Alright, here we go. Let's go, lads. I frame through that too. Okay. Good stuff. Oh yeah, the thing you ran out by the way. The bonus item thing. three guys in here. Should be able to get the jump on at least one of them. Okay. Boost attack power. Fine. I feel like maybe that will help with like boss battles or something. Try and take care of these guys. dangerous now. Yeah, it's always the multiple enemies that are the problem. Alright, let's go. So efficient. I really like that. <sighs> Dangerous times. I think I doused myself at the right time there. Oh, you get two at once. Nice. Yeah, it all started when I just stood up to, <laughs> to try and get to this. I think it's best I get out of here. Yeah, I've got myself in trouble now. Yeah, 
I'm going to jump over to this side. I don't want to rest because, again, that's just going to reset everything, so it's probably not a good idea. At least this kind of section is safe. And there's no one around here. It's very busy. This area is where things already start getting more dangerous. I did get seen, but I tried to play it cool. And I managed to sit on that. But there's a lot of enemies here and this area is pretty open. So well the middle bit of it is pretty open. So Right, what I want to do, this time I think I want to try this, see if I can get some easy kills in. How do they even know where I am, though? They don't, that's the thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, I don't think I want to know. There's those bloody dogs. But yeah, I think this trio here, trying to get all of them, is going to be a bit of a bit of a stretch. I might go back this way. Yeah, this dog's just patrolling here. So I'll try to start from earlier and see if I can take a few of them out before I get to that bit. So like, for example, this guy, I'm going to deliberately let myself get seen here. It didn't lock on. Okay. So it's it's nice that they don't basically have a situation where as soon as you get seen by one person, every single guy in the area just rushes you. So that definitely helps. Yeah, like that guy sees you, but he's basically the only one that does. It's not as bad. annoying. There's just too many of them there for me to try and do anything crazy and just start fighting them all. It's, I'm going to lose if I do that. Okay. We 
Where you going, buddy? Okay. Oh, I had the stealth kill there. Get the bag. Okay. I think there's at least two there. Three? Three. It's still three. Okay. Yeah, that trio is like the final exam of this place. If I can get those, then... I'll be okay. What I wanted to do was basically throw a fistful of ash at them. And then see if I could get some kind of like triple death blow situation. But Can I at least get one? Oh, there's four of them there. What the hell? Yeah, this is where I die, I think. But I kind of feel like I have to do it. <laughs> so let's pop one of these. Two of them I got here. Ah, he got a bit lucky there. He got a bit lucky. Hanging in there. Flame barrel. There we go. My first prosthetic tool. Yep. Okay. I need another thingy first. Checkpoint, I think. Oh, flip. No, not losing to a dog. God's sake. I'm spraying away from this dog. I'm not having this dog kill me. Come too far for that. Woo! My god. Up until now, I've basically been like one hit carrying dogs and it's been fine, but. No. Oh, uh, man, when I'm one hit away from death. For some reason, they've, they've made it a little bit hard to get out of here as well. Okay. I think I can go around it. Hopefully there's not a whole bunch of them here. Oh, this little shit of a dog. That's my fault, though. I could, I shouldn't have taken two hits from a dog. There you go. Now oh, I get the one resurrect. I see. 
The Divine Heir's blood grants the ability to return from the dead using resurrective power. One charge is always restored by resting at a sculptor's idol. Killing enemies restores additional charges. Resurrection becomes unusable immediately after using it, but killing enemies will make it available again. I see. Woo! Let's go. Okay, my friends, I'm going to wrap this one up here and I will end the premiere as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this first part. It's a little bit of a slow start, I think, but things are going to definitely ramp up for sure. If you have enjoyed it or you're just generally looking forward to the series, please remember to drop that like and support this one. And hopefully Sekiro will do well on the channel and I can continue to explore more of the From Software catalog. Thank you all for watching. I will see you soon. Take care.